Hey, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we are installing PPF for um, B pillars on Rivian, R1T or R1S, and optionally the A pillar as well. So um, this area is fingerprint prone, right? Gloss black, it always is. You maybe see the fingerprints here anyway. Drives me nuts. So um, for the video, we'll be installing um, a stealth PPF, which is like a satin um, PPF, which will hide the fingerprints and kind of give us a really nice texture. However, if you want to maintain the factory finish, which is glossy, we'll also sell it in a clear PPF as well. So with that, let's take a quick look at what's in the box. So kind of our usual PPF kit. So we have a soap solution. Um, we add the concentrate, so you just need to have water when you get it home. Some alcohol wipes, a squeegee with a fuzzy side and a rigid side. And then we have the B pillars. So um, obviously there's essentially two because they're split. So one of them will be marked with a, a D, probably can't see that on camera, but D for driver. The other one is passenger, of course. And then optionally the A pillars as well. So that's what you get in your kit. Let's start the installation. First thing we're gonna do is gonna clean the area um, with an alcohol wipe. If you have some isoprop spray at home, um, certainly use that as well. Just grab a shop rag or something. We've been installing these all day long to kind of get the cut right. So this area is fairly clean. This won't take too much time. But be thorough, um, especially for the PPF. You don't want any dust or other debris underneath it because it'll show up. And maybe just kind of give a little wipe down to the, the glass as well, just in case the PPF touches that as we're installing it. And then if it's super dirty, um, just use the soap spray uh, slip solution just to kind of clean it off as well. But next thing we're gonna do is just spray it. Be generous, we're gonna do both. So this is how it's gonna appear on the um, sheet. They look kind of samey and they are quite similar. They're definitely not identical though. Um, and that's why we're gonna apply them both at the same time, just so that we can make sure we get the right one on the right side. And obviously if we use the wrong one, we just move it over. So I'm gonna peel it off slowly. Kind of get about halfway, spray that with a soap solution, then complete that, spray the bottom half. I'm just gonna place that onto the, the B pillar. That looks like it is the right one, but had it not been the right one, we would have just moved over to that one. So we'll grab that one now. So usual rules apply when applying PPF. Try and do it inside if you can, so there's nothing flying around, bugs or dust. Um, do it when it's between 60 and 80 Fahrenheit, 16 to 28 Celsius. So I'm just gonna place that. So they should slide around quite freely. If they don't, and they really don't, then we're just gonna add a little bit more solution underneath. This is a very easy application. In terms of difficulty, probably give this a, a three at most. Really not too bad at all. But don't be shy with the slip solution because it really helps with the installation. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna grab the squeegee. We're gonna start with this, this rear piece first. So you can see it slips around or slides around really easily. So what you wanna do is of course, just look at the top corners the bottom ones are somewhat hidden behind the, the trim. Um, so it's the top ones you wanna focus on. And then these edges. So all the edges have a radius on them. The PPF does not wrap around those edges. That, make, that gets way more complicated from an installation perspective. So it really just sits on top of the flat plane, the top surface. Okay, once you've got it more or less there, we're just gonna squeegee up, we're gonna squeegee down. Um, at this point, it'll still slide around. We're just getting some, rid of some of the excess. And when you're absolutely happy, with the alignment. Just start squeegeeing a bit more. Again, it'll slip around. The uh, PPF we use is Expel. This is their Stealth Ultimate, Ultimate Stealth. Um, Expel is one of the best, if not the best PPFs in the world. The specs are on the website, but it's warranted for 10 years. And it's really easy to apply. There are various technologies that just make the installation very easy. 
So hopefully you can see that one's pretty much done. We'll wipe it back, wipe it down in a minute with a shop rag. Let's get this one, make sure it's still sliding around, it is. So same thing, I'm kind of gonna more focus on the top, but also the sides as well. Just squeeze you up, squeeze you down. Installing PPF on curved surfaces. This whole truck is wrapped in, in Expel Stealth. Um, is, a, is an art form, but doing these flat panels or fairly flat panels really is quite easy and pretty much anyone can do it. As you can see, this just took really a couple of minutes at most. Didn't even need to speed through the, the squeegeeing, but do make sure you squeegee all of it. I'm gonna grab a shop rag. <clears throat> Now these will still slide around if you're, um, if you're not gentle with it. So we're really just trying to get the, the surface cleaned off just so we can make sure that we've got all of the air evacuated. If we have, then um, if you can park your truck outside in the sun, that will kind of finalize the installation really quick. If it's not sunny, um, then just park it inside, avoid any extreme weather um, and give it 24 hours to finalize. Okay, so you can, I don't know if you can see, I've kind of got a camera on my hat, but I've got no idea where it's pointing, but sort of a bit lumpy bumpy here. That just means there's some soap underneath it. So we're gonna just work that out. And you can use the flat side of the, the squeegee as well. If you're installing the clear, then generally just use the, the fuzzy side. Um, the flat side may scratch it a little bit, but don't worry, it's self-healing. So again, just leave it in the sun or, or um, use a hairdryer just to apply some gentle heat to the PPF and it's a miraculous how, how easy it just self heals. But hopefully you can see, really nice. Resist fingerprints. And obviously protects the surface as well. This piano black finish on all cars and trucks that for some reason manufacturers are obsessed with, um, really shows soil marks. It just doesn't look very good. So, um, so this really kind of finishes it off. If you want to clean it a bit more, um, just trying to find my alcohol. You can either use one of the alcohol wipes, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, or again, just uh, obviously any mild soap solution. No problem taking it through a car wash or anything like that. But I'm just gonna use this just to get the sort of remaining soap off the top. And there you have it. That's the, the B pillars wrapped. So now we're going to go on to the A pillar. It's the same thing, we want to clean it first. And the main purpose of the PPF on this, um, you do get people that kind of grab this as they're getting in, but um, it's more for protection. Before we started creating this kit, this, this area was actually wrapped in a, in a gloss PPF that, um, that we had done when we picked up the, the truck a couple of years ago. But the good thing is, whether you're doing gloss or um, uh, the satin, if you do have any kind of swirl marks in this finish, then it just covers all that up anyway. It just kind of makes it look new. Okay, that looks good. So again, give it a good spray. Peel back the PPF about halfway. Ooh, grab the rest of it. And then just place it on. So um, you'll see that it just kind of instantly molds to the shape and that's really cool. So that's the objective of these pre-cut kits that um, they're really easy to apply. Um, I should say if you decide to take this kit to a wrap shop or something like that, um, they don't really work with pre-cut kits very often. So same with the vinyl, um, they may do less well. These are designed for DIY install for you. So we're going to start at the top here. Since it's the most visible piece and kind of the most intricate piece in terms of the cut, we want to finalize it up here and then we'll just kind of align the rest of it. 
And as before, you know, we're, we're looking, we're not wrapping around the, the edges, that makes the install way more complicated. So as you run your fingers down like this, you want to be able to, or you want to not be able to feel the edge of the, the PPF because that'll become a dirt trap if it's hanging over the edge. So I've kind of locked it in up here. That's looking good. So now I'm just going to work my way down. Again, just kind of feeling my way down. And it's still slipping around a little bit, which is fine, because um, with a piece this long, um, you can kind of maneuver it just a little bit just by kind of sliding it around as you're coming down and sort of locking it in place. So although this is a, a curved piece, um, it's a really easy install as well. And I personally, I just prefer the satin look, which is fairly obvious since it's got the whole truck done in a satin or stealth PPF. Now I'm making this look a little easier than it is. The reason for that is it's now 7.30 almost on a Sunday night, school night. Um, <clears throat> and I've been designing this kit since about 11.30. So it's a six hour process to get it to the point where I'm happy to sell it. Um, so, and this is version 17, these are version 14. So that's actually a pretty good day for, for me. We got through about 30 feet of material which is about $800 worth. So there's a lot of thought goes into these, these kits. I think that looks pretty good. Grab my shop rag. Give it a wipe down. <clears throat> so same thing now, we've got rid of all of the, the main trapped uh, soap solution but just look for little sort of bubbles or little uh, lumps and bumps and just be sure to work those out you do need to do that you know right away really because if you let um, if you let the PPF film cure or the installation you know kind of finalize then you won't be able to get it out very easily at all but there you go hopefully you can see that looks awesome. The next logical step you're probably thinking is, well, why don't we do these? Um, and in truth, I might. I really like the look of the satin on here. So this might be my, my next job for next weekend. So watch out for another kit to kind of cover that. But um, if you're just concerned with fingerprints, this is what you need, B pillars. If you want to protect the A pillars, add it here. Um, as I say, available in stealth and clear. Expel PPF, the best PPF you can buy. Thank you for watching.